Greetings and salutations. This is Jason Silverain, and they say real horror comes from, well, more mundane situations, things we're familiar with. And I think all of us have had at least one significantly awkward social situation, which we all hate, and, well, most people actually fear these days. It's perfectly understandable. So I thought One Night Stand would be a fun one to cover this uh, Halloween. And uh, this is available for £2.50 on Steam. It's made by um, Kimoku. And it's got 12 different endings. You can get through all of them in about an hour and a half. If you uh, go through a few of the more unusual things. Now, I have actually finished this. I decided to reinstall it just for today. And, ugh, my head. Now, the art style is very Hotel Dusk. I do like it. And it's surprisingly bigger than you'd think for one of these games. It's about 800 meg, which is still small by today's standards. So, my stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. Ugh, what's that noise? Now, one of the nice things is once you start doing replays of this, it kind of skips this section. My phone! Where's my phone? Got it. Sh shut up, phone. Mate, what happened to you? What the hell happened to you last night? Gary, what does he want? Oh yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last night. Doesn't sound too happy with me now. Should I respond? Yeah. I have no idea, but I've woken up with a banging hangover. You? Oh, battery low. Better plug it in before the uh, battery runs out. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. It's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes. They're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. Um. Whoa. Who's she? Why am I in her bed? D did, did we hook up? So you missed a good night. This is why I don't drink a lot, and I think the British drinking culture is a bit crap. People take it far too far. But this must be her room. I hope this is her room. But who is she? Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you, and you wandered off after one round. What the hell? Gary ditched his date, and I ditched him. Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. Gary knew about the situation I was in. He might be able to laugh it off or give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? Uh, no. I guess let Gary stay mad at me for a while. Who I wake up to isn't any of his business anyway. Shit. Can't remember anything that happened last night. Such a blur. Leaving Gary seems to ring a bell, but I don't even know who this girl is lying next to me or from where the heck I am. Oh, am I? Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. Uh, this hangover is not helping. <clears throat> Should I check my phone? I've probably tagged in some photos from last night or something. Maybe we can piece together what happened. Uh, what are you doing, phone? Oh, come on. Uh, I know I should have updated the OS on this thing. It's been slow ever since. Yep. I know that problem. Updates keep breaking my phone too. Oh great, my battery died. What should I do now? Um, hmm. Now, this is the big thing. There's several different things you can do. I mean, getting out of here is kind of a just crap thing to do. I need answers. I need them now. Ah, oh, what the hell? Did you just throw the covers over me? She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. Maybe she wants me to leave. All right. So this is where we actually get into the gameplay. You have a no, like a certain amount of time between sections. So that socks. Let's get some pants on first. Let's get socks. My underwear is under there. Wonders end up on this side of the bed. Put them on. Probably good. And also knowing 
who we're with is probably a good idea, so we could either check the wallet. She's got a laptop there. Um, I'm just going to laptop here. Maybe I could use it to find out more about who she is. Should I look at her laptop? Now, I would say this is a really bad thing to do. But if it's on, just pop it open. Have a quick look. Open our profile page. That's convenient. Her name is Robin. So we have a name from Mystery Lady. Just 67 friends. That's, what do you mean? Doesn't seem like many. I have like 12. Because I don't add random people. Someone is messaging her. Right, it says you're online. Better close this. I don't want to get caught. Alright. Um, go. You know what? I'd rather not find out. Oh, hey. Uh, what should I say? Are you okay? Yeah, sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. Just a little shot when I suddenly smothered by the bed covers. So I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to dash to the bathroom. I see. Is everything okay? Um, I don't want to, want to go into it. Oh, right. I'm guessing she's got a really bad hangover as well. I see you've managed to put some clothes on. Yeah, some. So I have to put my jeans on. Have you been awake long? Not really. I was woken up by my phone buzzing. I wonder what that was. It woke me up too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. This is awkward. Should I ask her something? About uh, time her... Let's go with a hangover. Did you wake up with a horrendous hangover? Just a bit of... I feel a little nauseous, but it's hardly surprising after the night we had. What she means by that? Look, you got wasted enough that you cannot remember the night. That's usually a bad sign. That's a sign of you've drunk far too much. Looks like you're feeling the brunt of it, though. You don't look too great. Are you feeling okay? I feel terrible. It's just a hangover. Uh, do I play it up, or do I... It's just a hangover. It's just a hangover. Don't worry about it. I'm not surprised you already had a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks? Didn't Gary say I only had one round? I'm going to get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Um, I'll have the coffee, please. Okay. Don't mind instant. Instant's fine. We'll have it white. Never have a black coffee with a hangover. It will just make your brain more awake and uh, more able to feel the pain of the hangover. Uh, no choice. Just how I like it. Now that's a little thing you can do. Um, you'll learn her preferences through your playthroughs. And certain choices will help you build up a connection with her. Which is another nice little thing. And builds on replayability. I mean, this is the fun thing. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game. And you'll, you know, there's various ways you can take it. You could stay naked the whole time and just learn about who she is. Okay, she's gone. I've got to try and keep it cool. Don't want to find out. I can't remember her. Well, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems nice. Still have no uh, clue to finding what happened last night. Well, first of all, let's get my uh, jeans on. Look a bit dirty though. Where's that stain come from? Eh, probably still good for another day or two. Dude. Put them on. Hang on, something in the pocket. Sambar. So I had at least uh, five drinks and got a sixth one. Alright. I know this place, you've got t t good cocktails. Maybe that's where we met. Judging from so I ordered my fair share of cocktails, this car is fully stamped. Whoa. I drank five cocktails, no wonder I, I, did, I didn't end up cashing it in. And it's all in my clothes. I can leave now if I want. Well, that would be a rude thing. That's a condom wrapper, so at least we were wrapped up. This flyer looks like he's seen better days. Paradox Monday Madness re entry. Paradox Monday Madness. I vaguely remember being in a nightclub last night. It must be in. Uh, here. I wonder what happened to Gary. Yeah, this is the thing. I'm gonna say now, there's n you never get it explained, like, why you split up with Gary that night. Um, Gary comes across as a little bit of a dick, I'll be honest, after several playthroughs, but then again, your character can be a real jerk, and there's certain elements that you discover that your guy is a bit of an ass as well. I mean, the fact that Gary blows off his date to come drinking... Um, it's always a bad sign. Thanks, it smells good. Eh, I hope you like it strong. Ugh, it's great, thanks. 
Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Good. Feels a bit awkward again. She really cuts the chase and asks her about last night. She must know something. So, it's quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. You know, I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks. I was feeling pretty down last night. Always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger for a dating app. Dating app is how we ate that? A friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Though it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Find the right guy, getting to know them, eventually agreeing to meet. And then he doesn't even show up. <laughs> what an asshole. Okay, I think I can assume the asshole she's talking about isn't me. I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into a taxi, go home and shut myself in for days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you uh, did. You saw I was down and uh, bought me a drink and cheered me up. I did. Yeah, I remember you sympathising with me a lot. This is me go on, on about that dating app. Douchebag. Huh. I see the night wasn't ruined. So she got stood up last night. And can you see the connection already? Gary's ditched his date to go drinking with a friend. Um, and she got stood up. He must have met after that. It was just shoulder for the crown. Well, I did end up here. Well, the case explains why I abandoned Gary last night a little. Even though I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. Glad you had a good night in the end, though. I think my mate's a bit pissed for me ditching him. Sorry, it's fine. We're just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure, will get over it. Didn't realise you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started uh, this bar the bro recommended. I think. Gary? Huh? Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, this is what like the hints. Like, it's, it's actually Gary's date that he stood up. He never sent her a message. And um, you ended up running into her instead. People have tried to... Um, well guess whether or not uh, that your guy purposely put um, Gary up for this and you stole his date but it's like chance that if anything hold on which bar she's on to me can't remember anything I have no idea which bar found that flyer in the sunbar club but can't be any there could be anything but now I can never remember if it's paradox or sandbar here let's uh, let's have a little say well we know we've gone to the sandbar we know we went to the Paradox. You probably met her... Ooh, I'm trying to decide if it's Paradox or Sandbar. Is it Paradox? It's paradox more likely than Sandbar, I think. Paradox. Really? Yeah, why? That's where we met. Oh. So did you all meet... Did we all meet in the same bar? Hmm. Don't you remember? And there we go. Now, the other thing it could be, and this is why I want to sort of load this, is you could say Samba seems more likely than Paradox, I think. Uh, Samba. Really? Yeah, why? I mean, you left and went back. <laughs> that was the last place I remember going with you. There we go. Yeah, because... Uh, went more than one bar. Yeah. But you don't remember that? And there we go. So... Whilst it's not immediately clear, this game does make you build up clues. So we're going to go the Paradox route. That's where we met. We all met in the same bar. Remember? Mm, seems like your memory's a little fuzzy. I did remember your name, Robin. That's right, remember. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But your memory seems fuzzy about everything else. Maybe I can fill you in what I know. Uh, no need. Please do. Oh, please do. Would help. Well, I was waiting at the bar in the Paradox uh, nightclub about 10pm. Uh, been waiting there a while. I was pretty tipsy. Vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. We had a round together and then got chatting. Found a secluded spot and got to know each other. The Paradox got louder as the night went on. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. Samba. Exactly. So yeah, you've gone drinking with Gary gone to the bar for the second round met a girl who's upset and ended up chatting her up again shows that your guy's a bit of a dick for not even telling his friend where he's going 
No, nightclubs can be an absolute pain, especially in England, because it's very easy to get separated with some of them. I remember the one in Sheffield called Leadmill. You lost someone in there. You better have a place to meet up because there's several floors and it was packed like shoulder to shoulder. For all we know, this Monday Night Madness could have been the same situation. Things soon get to, uh, begin to get fuzzy. Don't remember much. Don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. So we grabbed the taxi and I guess we end up here. Hmm. And then, well, we had a good time. Okay, that's all I recall anyway. So you and your friends, I've no idea what happened. No worries, thanks for helping me fill in some blanks. Helps a little, but ugh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. Hmm. Still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe we can fill in more clues around here. Alright, so we've got the basis of what occurred. We could learn a little bit more about her. We have a bottle of wine. We've got all this. I mean, you can learn more about her as a person, if you so wished. Um, but I'm going to go with a few of the basic things to start with. Now... What's this? Half-empty bottle of uh, wine, basically. Did we drink this when we got back from the sandbar? Oh, no wonder I'm so hungover. Um, I don't see any reason to start going through her underwear. That's just a bit invasive. It's a movie. Love slash RD. Oh, I IRL. Sorry, I, that looks like a slash on that. Never heard of this movie. It looks fairly new. According to the blurb on the back, it's about Zoe University with friends. Falls in love with a stranger. She meets an easy escape. Massively uh, multiplayer online role playing game. Sounds. Now, the fun thing is, this actually has an achievement for getting interested in it. Sounds pretty cool. Wonder what the in game segments might look like. Part real life, part CG. Maybe Josh Robin if it's any good. Sorry about that. Who is at the door? Just the mailman. Who are some books online? Oh, when did she answer it dressed like that? Maybe we should try and get to know her a little bit more. The movie. No, she's been watching uh, Love IRL. Oh yeah, friend landed me. It's a really good movie. Have you seen it? No, but it sounds like it could be a cool movie. I'd like to see how they show the difference between the real life and in-game stuff. I it pretty well, in my opinion. Really enjoyed it anyway. It's not your typical blockbuster. And the love story is really sweet too. The main guy is really cute. Cute, huh? Yeah. Seems like you're a big fan. I'll have to see what the fuss is about. Yeah, you should. Uh, listen. About last night? Yeah? Going out. Meeting a total stranger. Bringing them here. Home. Oh, this is a home. That's a relief. <laughs> this isn't something I'd normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. Probably never had a one night stand before. Have you ever done anything like this before? Um... Uh, this isn't my first time. Uh, that's kind of worrying. Sorry, your business is your business. Um, normally, I mean, if you want a better one, you say no. We took precautions anyway, so we're probably fine. What I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. You were nice to me last night. But I did expect you to leave. I, I don't mean you still being here is bad or anything. <laughs> She's happy I'm still here. Must have managed to make a good impression then, all things considered. But look, we didn't really get to know each other all that well last night. Or if we did, I barely remember it. So she's... That's one of the few times you hear she barely remembers last night. I ran enough about my day troubles. Um, I've talked enough about me. Uh, tell me about you. Huh? Tell me something about you. Uh, like what? Anything, if you get to know each other a little better. This could be different. Different? I, I don't know. Not as weird. I guess. I should tell about myself. Um, hobbies, personality, friends. Now, I mentioned Gary, she obviously didn't like that, so we're going to say hobbies. I guess I'll start with... Uh, huh? So I'll be right back. She's gone again. It's strange, she seems okay until I opened her mouth. What should I do? Um, help her. I should help, she didn't look well. Whoa. Were you right beside the door? I was worried about you. Oh, are you okay? Not really. I felt sick all of a sudden. Maybe something I ate last night, or too much drink. What should I do? Um, can I get you anything? 
Thanks, but I think I just need some rest. Are you sure? Yeah, sorry. Quickly grab my phone and get out. Okay, I've got all of my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road from here. Should be able to get home from there. Thanks, Robin. Listen, I appreciate we had a nice time last night. And I'm grateful for that. I don't feel very well right now. I should respond. Uh, that's a bit creepy. Stay friends. Can we stay friends? Yeah, I think so. Don't get me wrong. Not friends with benefits or anything like that. You were there for me at a time of need. Didn't sneak out in the night or this morning while my back was turned. Grateful for that. So yeah, friends it is. Friends enough. Well, maybe you shouldn't go spoiling a good thing like friendship. I mean, you can always build it up from friendship. Then again, maybe she's holding back because she wants me to make the move. She asked you to be more more friends? Alright. Now, I would say no in this situation personally, but let's go with yes just to see. Yeah, it's a chance to become anything else more than just friends. Now's the time to ask. I regret if I didn't try. Think we'll ever be more than friends? Oh. Um. Uh, like I said, I did have a nice time. I do appreciate you didn't bail on me as soon as you woke up. But, listen, I'm sure some people find uh, something deep in a one-night stand, but I don't. I don't want it to be like this. Yeah. Please don't take it the wrong way, it's just... We're supposed to be going separate ways, right? But time just to go. No strings attached and all that. Listen, just forget the whole thing. So that is pretty much one ending. She probably creeped her out at the end by asking that. Robin sees you to the door. The mood is awkwardly silent. You sense Robin is uncomfortable. You hope things could have worked out better. She really did seem like a nice girl. But before you get the chance to think about it, you notice the door is already closed behind you. It upsets you. Does that seem cold of her? You find a small amount of comfort knowing you at least took precautions last night. Step out into the street and make your way to the bus station. I wonder how else that could have played out. There we go. So that's one ending. And if we say no, she'll probably feel a lot less uncomfortable. Besides, if we stay in touch, who knows? Who can say what happens in the future? Friends, it is. There we go. A little bit of a hug. Robin sees you at the front door and enters your mobile number on her phone. You doubt the night you spent together was a romantic experience that... Perhaps Robin yearned for, but at least she was friendly towards you. Walk out to the street, head towards the nearby bus station, the one that she mentioned. Enjoy getting to know a little bit more behind, about her before you left. You smile on your way, Robin is really a nice girl after all. When you arrive home, you charge your phone and discover a message from Robin. Thanks. I wonder how else that could have played out. <laughs> and there you go. Just one choice on this can really change your playthrough. And for the 12 endings, there's a lot of nuance. I can re recommend it for £2.50 for about an hour or two's worth of time. Um, not too bad, really. 